Oh, and look at Steve Kern. Oh, Steve Kern's a it's sure your pal. choice, Kern. I think the Gator will have. Oh, he's look laughing. At look at him laughing. At him. You're serious. Evidently, evidently, you don't want to award me the match. So I saw earlier where you are very capable with your fist. So why don't we change the rules oh. and just make this a little boxing match with my <laughs> team? Oh, well. does, does he know that Kern is a former amateur boxer? Is he aware of that? I don't think Jerry Bunk's aware of much. Well, I'm telling you, too. All right, I don't think he's got a feeling. If I were him, I don't know that I would want to be in a boxing match with Steve Kerr. Well, Steve Kern and Terry Funk ready for a match, whether Mr. Funk is ready or not. There's the bell. We're about to be underway. Funk comes out and says, hey, let's shake hands and start this thing off right. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Have we mentioned before how unpredictable Terry Funk is? <laughs> you don't have to prove what, it to what, me what anymore. What kind of odds would you have taken that he would have started off this match with a clean handshake? Uh, and I, I'm trying another one? Something's up. If I were Steve Kern, I would be being very, very careful right now. Look at this beautiful wrestling chain uh, moves, one right after another. And now it's Kern. Now, now, why would, well, I mean, Kern just slapped him in the back of the head. It seems to me, given the devil is due, Terry Funk so far has played by the rules. I ain't believing I just said that. <laughs> well, the handshake not welcome now. I, for some reason, think they're about to get down to business. Collar and elbow tie up. The two wrestle their way around the ring. Side headlock broken. And the shoulder lock by Terry Funk. Leaps up. comes back into the ring, starts to tie up with Steve Gator Kern, of course, one of the fabulous ones. He calls himself the fabulous one, Steve Kern. And now, we, let's see what kind of wrestling maneuver we get now, a tie up. A, a test of strength here. The size advantage goes to Terry Funk. Well, look at these two. One for you, one look for you, one for you, men. one for you. Both men daring the other, just come on. On Steve Kern's face, and now that little grin, like uh, you haven't seen it all yet, pal. And now 
Terry Funk, no fist back. Telling Paul Neighbors exactly what he thought of that last He still wants to have a boxing match. Debut. Terry Funk says, get out of the way, let's do this. All right, it looks like we're going to have that boxing match we talked about. Funk showing some good moves. Oh. Steve Kern's pass, but right now it's not making any difference. A series of forearms, and now Funk trying to escort Kern into the post and done. Funk jumping back in the ring has left Steve Kern outside the ring, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like some blood coming from the nose of Steve Kern. It looks like he's got a nosebleed. Climbing back up into the ring. I don't think he'll let that stop him. But you see right where Funk goes after. Terry Funk showing that he's not a bad boxer. Now Funk now is counting him. Kern back up to a knee. And back to his feet. Come on, Kern, you pig. He's Funk challenging him. Oh, he's just, he's just humiliating him right now. Calling him names, spitting on him. Get up, you bastard. Get out of it. And now a slap. How humiliating. Steve Kern is going to get... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for that I can say on TV? <laughs> He's going to get aggravated in a minute. Ticked off? Ticked off in a minute. That's good. Funk hits him and then says, get up, you bum. Oh. <laughs> Terry uses a headbutt that did as much damage to himself as it did to uh, Kern. Said I'd rather use my fist here. And now the Gator with a right of his own. DDT on Terry Funk. Funk gets up. And Terry Funk may think he's herding cattle. Another one. Have you DDT noticed? DDT square. Watch Steve Kern when he gives that DDT. He's one of the few men I've seen who bring both of his feet off the ground so that it's his weight and the opponent's weight down on the head of the opponent. And now, Terry Funk sends Steve Kern out of there. Nobody home! Kern going to work on the leg. A lot of people remember now, this is the same leg that was injured not a year ago in those battles, of course, in the NWA. And here comes a figure four. He's got it locked in! Funk is saying yes, it looks like. it over. Reverses the hold. The leg is given out. As I said, this is the same knee that was injured less than a year ago, and Kern, taking advantage of that fact, is now going after it. Of course, Funk injured it to begin with, going into the turnbuckle. And now he's going to go for the figure four again, I believe. Right in the middle of the ring this time, if he can get it. He's got him set up. Funk rolls him up. One, two, three. Terry Funk gets the win. An incredible win for Terry Funk. But Kern's not finished with business. Kern says, I traveled a long way for this. I'm going to get what's doing it. He is absolutely going to work to injure that knee. Funk is going to have to come back and wrestle in the next round, but yeah, I'm not sure he's going to be able to after that. That leg doesn't look like it's going to hold up much more. We'll return with more. 